Well, check this out. This is what the skyline looked like in the Dominican Republic yesterday. The gray hazy sky was caused by the massive plume of dust from the Sahara Desert in Africa. That dust cloud has made its way to Louisiana as we've been mentioning all day and area health officials are keeping a watchful eye on the effects of the dust plume. This is a live look from one of our sky cams. That dust in the air could cause health concerns for some adults and some children. So joining us now to talk about that is Dr. James Diaz, who is with LSU Health Environmental Services. Thank you for being with us. Good morning. First of all, this is an unusual year because there's more dust than usual. That's good for our weather. It's harder for hurricanes to form because of what that does to the air. And it does dry out the atmosphere, so we get less rain. But this year, the dust is so thick, instead of just staying high in the atmosphere, it's actually showing up at the surface as well. Dr. Diaz, this is really dangerous for anyone with respiratory issues. Yes, it could be. And uh, there's another issue going on, and that's the COVID-19 pandemic because uh, breathing in these particulates, which are combinations of Saharan dust and sand, can cause respiratory problems as can COVID-19. So it can create sort of a differential diagnostic dilemma. So we're very concerned that people, even young people with pre-existing uh, asthma or pre-existing allergies should consider staying indoors while there are air quality alerts because of high levels of particulates in the atmosphere. And what are some of the other health precautions people can take besides just staying indoors? Well, some of the other uh, health uh, concerns that, that we have is that we know that when there are high particulates in the atmosphere, this can also be very dangerous to people who have pre-existing cardiac conditions, such as coronary artery disease, mm -hmm. and the incidence of heart attacks or myocardial infarctions uh, does increase during particulate air alerts. So that's something uh, in addition to having pre-existing uh, lung-related issues, e even in young people, but certainly elderly people who have COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, mm -hmm. uh, bronchitis, emphysema, uh, they should consider staying indoors and watching the uh, sunsets from inside. And biologists think that the dust will contribute to algae blooms because of the chemicals that settle over the Gulf of Mexico, and that's going to affect people's allergies as well, and it seems like that could have effects that last longer than the several days of dust we're going to see. Well, that's a good point because these particles, which are combinations, as we said, of dust and sand, uh, they can attract other pathogens. Uh, they can attract pollen, for example. They can attract fungi. And uh, these can be carried into the upper airway and potentially the lungs and result in worsening of allergy conditions or worsening of asthma or in some of the most severe instances with complications in patients who have COPD, possibly pneumonia. Dr. Diaz, thank you so very much for your time. We really appreciate it. And we hope everybody heeds your warnings. Thank you. Time's now 817. Let's get back over to Dave, who's tracking the path of the dust. Dave? Yeah, that's right, Leslie. This morning, again, the combination of with the high humidity and the hay and the uh, dust kind of making some hazy weather over top of the city this morning. That's what we look at like out there now, but you can see the higher concentration of the dust out there continues for at least for the first part of the day today. And as we head to the weekend, moves over into Florida by Sunday. So we're, we'll see improving conditions, of the air quality here. But another plume is actually coming on into Puerto Rico right now. And as we get to the weekend across part of the greater Antilles, and as we head into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday starts coming back across our area, not as dense as the first batch, but we will see more of it returning next week. And this is very common to see here during the months of June, July, even in parts of August. And one good thing, of course, it keeps the uh, tropical systems at bay. Now we do have a code orange unhealthy for sensitive groups level three right now this morning with the air quality. And we do have that air quality alert for all the South Shore as we head into midnight tonight.